finding new converts in unlikely places. And there are even people who are prepared to overcome some serious obstacles to take part in the sport that they follow. We've heard a lot about the Rugby League Benevolent Fund. We've seen money go by the man of the match award, and we've seen some of the fundraising walks that take place. But where exactly does the money go, and how does it help people? So come down to the Richard Dunn Sports Centre in Bradford, and I'm going to find out. Wheelchair Rugby League began in France in the late 90s and caught on in this country a couple of years ago, giving people in wheelchairs an opportunity to take part in the game. It's similar to tag rugby, and the game follows the rules of rugby league as closely as possible. And it's just as competitive, with some fearsome collisions. The able-bodied are invited to take part as well, to give an insight into what it's all about. Well, the best way to find out about wheelchair rugby league is to get in a chair and have a game. Here goes. Put him, put him belt through there, just basically belt through. You've had a bit too many times. That's not a reason. You don't put your foot down there. When you're going really fast, you're going there. Come on! Oh, 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 oh. oh, I'm back! The whole ethos of it is it's a totally incredible sport. Um, as the French actually uh, who introduced this, they, they were the population of who have had really serious lower limb injuries, uh, are in there, playing the game so that they can keep the upper body still going while 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 this. So it was a great motto. Wheelchair rugby already exists. Why have wheelchair rugby? Wheelchair rugby uh, came from a sport called uh, um, murder ball. Uh, it's a round ball. The ball can be passed forward in any direction. There's a lot of blocking and very synonymous, I would say, with coming from a very big the gridiron piece of, you know. Uh, so rugby league is actually a course that we can imagine the, the, the wheelchair game ever getting to the, to, the, to the running game. Stuart Walker was severely injured on the rugby league pitch in 1993. Until recently, he's had to play in his everyday wheelchair. But with the aid of the rugby league benevolent fund, he's about to get a specially adapted chair. Hopefully my game's going to improve because the chair I'm using at the moment it belongs to the club, so it's not actually made to measure for me. So when I do get my own chair what's made to measure, hopefully I can go faster and um, I just, I'll just be all the more. It was just brilliant. The professionals of Super League might be doing it tough, but in their own way, so are those who are pioneering the sport of wheelchair rugby league. Yes, indeed, and congratulations to the RFL, who's worked with the Wheelchair Rugby League, earned them an award at the Disability Sports Awards Night in Leeds last weekend. Congratulations to all concerned.